What's up, y'all? Welcome to another episode of Shaz Corner. On today's episode, I will discuss whether or not the Golden State Warriors should tank. Let's get into it. As if losing Klay Thompson to back-to-back season-ending injuries wasn't enough, the Golden State Warriors are going to be without their starting center, Marquise Chris, due to suffering a broken leg. When it rains, it pours in the Bay Area. So let's take a deep dive into what exactly transpired in Golden State over the last couple of seasons. After winning the championship in 2015 and losing in the 2016 NBA Finals to the Cavaliers, the Golden State Warriors acquired KD to form a super team, which resulted in back-to-back NBA championships. In 2019, the Golden State Warriors were defeated by the Toronto Raptors, and it seemed to me their streak of bad luck was starting to form. First, KD tore his Achilles in Game 5, and Klay Thompson tore his ACL in Game 6. Steph Curry was unable to carry the dubs on his own, so the Toronto Raptors wound up winning their very first NBA title. Shout out to Jurassic Park. So during that offseason, KD left Golden State to go play with Kyrie in the Brooklyn Nets. What an awesome decision that turned out to be. This moment proved to be the end of a dynasty for Golden State. At the start of the 2019-2020 NBA season, the Golden State Warriors roster was not very impressive. Klay Thompson was still nursing his ACL, so they brought in D'Angelo Russell and Marquise Chris to help Steph Draymond Green. Steph Curry broke his left hand at the start of the season, which required him to be off for three months. That left Draymond Green to carry the load, and we all know Draymond is solid on D, but he is not going to single-handedly take the Warriors to the playoffs, let alone the NBA Finals. As the season progressed and the losses started to pile up, The Warriors and Draymond Green decided maybe he should sit out too, seeming as though he had nagging injuries of his own. Mm -hmm. And there was no chance of the Warriors making the playoffs. Needless to say, the Dubs finished dead last in the Western Conference and finished with a record of 15 and 50. (laughs) The one bright spot that managed to come out of the last couple of season ending injuries was the acquisition of the number two pick in the 2020 NBA draft, James Wiseman. With the Golden State Warriors starting center Marquise Chris out for the remainder of the season, I expect to see James Wiseman as their starting center. Draymond Green is expected to be back in the next game or two, so I'm expecting the Warriors to put together a nice little win streak. I mean, they play Chicago and Detroit coming up. That's at least two wins. Easy. Okay, but look, here's my caveat. If within the next 10 to 20, 25 games max, the Warriors find themselves losing and not gaining traction in the Western Conference, I'm here to say their season is essentially over. I mean, if Wiggins cannot find his shot and Kelly Oubre keeps trying to shoot over three defenders, it's over. I mean, the Warriors might as well go ahead and scrap this season Make sure James Wiseman gets all the minutes and all the experience. And let's just go ahead and start making room for the top prospects of the 2021 NBA draft. I mean, come on, let's face it. Steph Curry is 32 years old, scheduled to make $43 million. And Klay Thompson, although he's only 30 years old, he suffered two back-to-back season-ending injuries. It might be time to start looking for the next faces of the franchise. So let's take a quick look at who's coming up in the 2021 NBA draft. You got Jalen Suggs out of Gonzaga. He's a point guard who could potentially be Steph Curry's backup until Steph gets washed. And then you have BJ Boston out of Kentucky, who's a shooting guard who could potentially back up Klay Thompson until Klay Thompson gets washed. So I think as a Warriors fan, and also if I'm the general manager of the franchise, I'm already looking two, three, four years ahead. And it might be time to kind of move the needle a little bit. Something to think about. All right, you guys, I am going to wrap this episode up. Thank you all for tuning in. If you like this kind of content, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Make sure you engage me in the comments and let me know what you think about this. Should the Warriors go ahead and tank this season? I mean, what do you think? Drop down and let me know. 
All right. Thanks for tuning in. I will see you on the next one. See ya.